Let's do Wordle number 1195 for Thursday, September 26th. I'm going to start with yesterday's answer, which was torch. Ooh, we start with T and there's an H, so I'm going to do TH. Um, I kind of want to do theme. I don't know why, but you know we aren't doing the themes, so I'm going to guess theme instead. All right, well, it is TH. <laughs> um, I guess I got to think about my next guess. Oh, really? Well, thank you everyone for all the congratulations because I just had a baby and everyone's congratulating me. So thank you, everybody. Cool. Well, um, I mean, it was a 50-50 between think and think at the very least, but I think there were probably more options. Let's see how lucky I got. Um, we've got torch. And it was just the T and the H. Whoa, theme is the best possible guess. That is very surprising to me. And then, and then think or think. Wow. Yeah, it was down to think, 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 and thing. But if you guess, I guess you could guess any of them. It doesn't really matter. So I, I won. Uh, it, I did not win the one in three because I did think. But then I definitely won the one. <laughs> then it was guaranteed. So yeah, whichever one you guess, the next one's guaranteed. Interesting. Cool. So I don't have to look at it because it would also do theme. Um, I did the same, same as me. Um, well, we can look at Sele, and I had a question about why the Wordle bot doesn't start with Sele. So I'm going to leave that to the end. I'm going to give a little bit of more detail on on Wordle solvers. So uh, if that doesn't interest you, that's fine. But I will talk about that at the end. Um, so we're going to get a yellow T for thank, and we're going to get a, a yellow A as well. And I make sure I did that right. Um, where would thank be? What did I do wrong with think? T H A N G A N K T H A N K T. Oh, it's right there. I wasn't looking right. Okay. Anyway, it would do train next. That's interesting. So T and A got placed, and we get an N. And then it's thank or twang. Ooh, twang is interesting. Cool. So fifty fifty to get it in three or four. Nice. All right. Well, let's talk about solvers. So. There's kind of a, uh, I use the word naive. Naive has is kind of a, to, at least to me, in, in terms of programming or designing algorithms, naive is more like, it's kind of the first thing you think to do. Um, and, and I think almost every Wordle solver does this that's out there, except for Wordle Calcal and maybe some others that I haven't encountered. Uh, I'm sure others have done something similar, but uh, this, this one made by Yuval, uh, Wordle Calcal is is very good at it and very fast and works in the browser, so that's why I really like it. But anyway, the naive way that you would make a solver, and it works out pretty well. It's pretty close to optimal, but not quite. And it's it, it, but it's not very good for hard mode. Um, so for non hard mode, it's pretty close to optimal, not quite. For hard mode, it's actually pretty bad. Um, which is you you can see that you know after I guess LA, let's say the answer is thank right. This is yellow, this is yellow. It has a list of 22 probable answers left, right? So what it's gonna do is it's gonna look at every possible word, all 10,000 or whatever words that you're allowed to guess, and it's going to, to go through all 22 answers, right? So it's gonna go through all 22 answers, and then it's gonna evaluate every single thing we could guess, and not even just of these, just anything you could guess. And so it's going to loop through all of the 22 possible answers. Then it's going to go through everything you can guess. And if we were to guess that, how many words would remain if the answer was actor? How many words would remain if the answer is amity, et cetera, all the way down? And so what we do is, okay, if the answer were actor, then we can organize um, all the possible words we could guess and, and see how many words would remain based on how that would get colored. I hope I'm making sense. I, I, I'm probably losing people already. But um, then what you can do is you can then average that over all 22 guesses. So on average, there will be this many words remaining if we guess such and such word. And then you can sort them by that and you can say, well, now there's, there's going to be five words remaining on average or 5.3 words remaining on average for this guess. And that's the best we can do. So that's the guess you should make. And then it repeats that and it just keeps going until you're forced to make a guess and it says, okay, well, that's that's the answer uh, until there's only one answer left. So I'm pretty almost positive that that is what um, the Wordle bot does. 
And that leads you to, um, I believe, Crane. If you do that evaluation on a completely empty grid and you go through all, all of the possible answers, I do believe Crane comes out as the best starting word. You can see it is sixth in this solver. It's, it's still pretty good. So it's a decently good heuristic. Now, it's very bad for hard mode, though, uh, because in hard mode, um, I think I think Reist also might come up, but I think the Wordlebot prefers um, to suggest. You can see it it, it it would prefer to guess a word that's um, a, a answer list word, so it possibly only looks at those. I don't know, but anyway, um, you're going to get something something in this list, uh, depending on exactly how you do it. But I think I think deterministically you end up with Reist and maybe Crane if if you're looking for an answer. Um, I'm going off memory here, but anyway, um, I'm pretty sure Wordlebot starts with Crane, doesn't it? But anyway, um, so in hard mode, it's going to walk right into traps. Like if the answer was, um, uh, if the answer was like um, haste, right? It's gonna, it's, it's, it's gonna have no problem guessing waste, and then getting into this situation where you've still got five answers left, right? It's just gonna walk right into that. Whereas what you really, ideally, you'd want to pick a word that that doesn't walk right into the trap and allows you to continue getting multiple pieces of information instead of just one letter of information each guess. Um, and so what this bot does is it does look ahead. Notice that it doesn't optimize for the number of answers remaining on average. It's optimizing for how many guesses are left on average. And it's looking ahead to do that. So it's doing a lot more work here because it's going through everything you could guess. And then it's then continuing the game from there and looking at everything you could guess from that and it's continuing the game from there and it goes a certain amount deep kind of like you know think about like a chess engine right it has to look ahead multiple moves ahead so it's looking ahead multiple moves ahead and it's using some really clever um algorithmic optimizations um and heuristics to kind of improve the speed of that as well as a lot of caching um i've looked at the code and i i, I kind of get it but i'm, I'm not 100 percent on it but um anyway because it's looking ahead that look ahead makes it much better at hard mode because it can look ahead and go, ooh, if I guess waste here, then I could potentially get into this nasty trap and lose. And it really hates losing. Um, and so um, it's going to be, it's going to avoid guessing that if it can. Now, if it's forced to, it's forced to. But if there's another word that it's allowed to guess that then um, doesn't lead into this trap where there's all these games where it's losing. Then it's going to pick that over that, and it's going to it's going to do much better. So, actually, something like the Wordlebot, something that's optimizing for fewest guesses, or sorry, fewest words left, not fewest guesses, um, it is actually going to lose on some words, the the trappy words in hard mode. It will lose, um, and this bot here, because of the look ahead, never loses. It cannot lose in hard mode. So, um, just thought that might interest people. Um, I know this explanation is stuck at the end of a random world video, but uh, if people enjoyed this, I could make a separate video on on how to program a uh, Wordle solver when I have a little bit of time. I wouldn't do it in the near future, but let me know if there's interest there. And of course, how'd you do? Mm -hmm.